states voting tonight. Polls close in just over 18 minutes. And the first of them, the great state of New Jersey. But another long night it will be. Polls close 8 p.m. Eastern time. Rachel's back with a special guest. That's, that's exactly right. We heard moments ago, um, last hour, from Jeff Merkley, who is the Senate endorser of Bernie Sanders, who is not named Bernie Sanders. Yeah. Um, one of the many Senate endorsers of Hillary Clinton uh, is Senator Claire McCaskill of Missouri. Uh, Senator McCaskill, it's great to have you with us tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks. Great to be with you. You are marketing Trump-related hats on your blog. I want to hear the story of this, please. Yes, I thought it was time that we had a hat that really represented Donald Trump accurately. So on my um, campaign website, you can get your risky and reckless red cap. <laughs> um, made in America with union workers, unlike most of Trump's stuff, um, and I wear proudly that uh, what Donald Trump really represents to this country is a risky and reckless idea. You have some, um, I don't want to say glee, because that sounds small, but you have some enthusiasm about the idea, as far as I can tell, that Hillary Clinton has not just any Republican to run against, but Donald Trump to run against. Do, when you look at how badly things are going for Donald Trump right now, do you feel like, oh good, that makes him easier to beat? Or do you feel like, oh no, somebody that damaged is gonna be this close to the presidency? Or do you think, oh, this is happening too early and the Republicans might replace him? All of the above. Mm. I think it's hard. Um, uh, first of all, in, there are moments when I just, in horror, think, I mean, really, today we had the Speaker of the House acknowledging that their candidate for president um, is kind of a racist, but we're for him. And uh, it's really um, hard for me to wrap my arms around that, that, that we're at this point. It's not good for our country on the world stage. On the other hand, I do think he is so, I mean, he's got no policy other than I'm Donald Trump and I'm great. So I do think that it's going to be quite a contrast between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. And one that I think um, will reassure most Americans that we want someone who is strong and stable in the White House, not someone who um, probably started down this road thinking he was going to help up the price of putting his name on buildings. D do you think that it materially affects Hillary Clinton's chances against him uh, that the Democratic primary is not over yet, at least if you ask Senator Sanders? We've got the AP and NBC News saying that she has clinched the number of delegates she needs in order to clinch that, uh, clinch that nomination. Senator Sanders uh, still saying he's going all the way to the convention, still making an argument that uh, superdelegates shouldn't be counted yet because they may be persuaded to, to support him. Um, obviously, I know that you, you support Secretary Clinton here, but do you think the ongoing primary hurts her in the general election? Well, I, I want to see that glass as half full rather than half empty. Uh, I think we need to show incredible respect and admiration for what Bernie Sanders has done in this primary. He has um, really brought into focus issues that uh, we all care about, that we must deal with in this great United States. And I think what he has done in terms of motivating his supporters and the passion they show, uh, it can be a really good thing for our country if we uh, kind of pull all this together now to stop Donald Trump. Uh, I, I don't think, that, I think Bernie will take some time to think about this, but if you really think about what he's saying, he said all along, let the voters decide, not the superdelegates. And now he's saying, never mind, don't let the voters decide, let's let the superdelegates decide. So I, I don't think it works in terms of who he really is. Uh, I think what works much better is for him um, to, to make sure we put things in the platform that we need to have, um, that, he, that we celebrate what he has done because it deserves celebration, and move forward with a very special candidacy that is very historic in our country. Very last, last question for you, ma'am. Um, do you want to be Hillary Clinton's vice presidential running mate? I do not. <laughs> I want to keep campaigning for her. I want, um, you know, 132 years ago, Belva Lockwood was the first woman uh, to run for president. 
Uh, I wish my grandmother were still alive. I wish my mother, who wouldn't let me have a Barbie queen of the prom game, uh, was still alive, because I was raised by women who said someday. And I'm just excited to be part of this, and I think it's um, going to be a terrific campaign. Senator Claire McCaskill, thanks for being with us tonight. It is a, it is a historic night. Thanks for being here. Thank Senator, you. thank you. Claire McCaskill, Democrat of New Jersey. By the way, there Missouri. in the... You, you, uh, Thank you. New Jersey I've on got the New mind. Jersey on the mind, uh, Missouri. Um, and we, I just wanted to say that every time we put up this shot, the crowd has waved at themselves. There is reason to believe <laughs> that they have us up on a big screen. There you have it. <laughs> Brooklyn Navy Yard getting some airtime. We can see you. Another break for us. Our coverage continues right after this as we near the top of the hour.